Hey, good morning boys and girls. This is Clay of Major Disappointment Models. And uh, you can see, even though I'm having a hard time gripping anything with my left hand because of an injury, I've got the, the lower end of the, the block going. i got the crank and the rod arms in. Uh, this is a really old, old kit. And it's a really old, old mold. So there's a lot of cleanup. And having built the other Hayes four-cylinder, I wanted to make sure that the rods move freely. So you can see they, they dangle. So I made sure to clean them up really good. Uh, because I can't use my hand very much. It took me a long, long time. Now, uh, let me try to zoom in here. As you can see, there's these screws. Get a pointer here. I don't know if you can see this pointer. There's screws here holding the main caps in. Okay. Now, before you put those in, one of the first things you have to do on this this plastic part is you have to glue in all these little nuts. Now they tell you to use an epoxy. Well, I use a gorilla, the gorilla glue the super gel okay now uh, the way they tell you to do it is you gotta put the little bolt on a uh, or little nut on a toothpick and then with another toothpick dab the glue and then try and try not to get it in there and you know that's not happening so uh, you're gonna get glue stuck inside the threads of these nuts so the way I cleaned them out is instead of trying to run the screw this way through it and forcing it I ran the screw through this end. Right, let's try it from this end here, because the glue was actually would actually be filling the hole between the nut here and the plastic, so it'd be on the bottom side. So by running the screw through this side, as the screw came out on this side, it started pushing the glue, and it, as soon as I got the screw basically to the uh, flush or a little even past it with the nut I just take my knife and scrape off the cement that was there and it seems to be working well so um, as you can see I got them all on these two end caps are uh, wider than the center ones and for some reason these screws just barely fit into the nuts I don't know why so I had a hard time getting them in but once I got them in they're in so and you can see without any vegetable oil oops sorry let's get you back in camera get you back in frame oop wrong way come on push the right button get you back in frame so you can see without putting any vegetable oil in there yet makes a little bit of noise but it turns pretty free so so far so good then I spent about an hour yesterday, that's about all I can take with this hand, um, cleaning all the flash out of this stuff. And so I got them ready to go and I'll be gluing them together. And then I got to clean these uh, wrist pins so I can stick them in on the end of the rods, you know, like so. And, you know, you probably don't have to clean them up, but I'm cleaning them up so everything turns the way it should be and it'd be nice and loose so, so you don't have any loose ends here that are grabbing the cylinder walls you know and then everything's stuck so that's the reason i'm doing that but let me see if i can find the sprue i wanted to show you i know it was a gray sprue let me see and i'm probably not going to be able to find it but I thought it was interesting. I probably should have done this before I started. So it's not there. And I don't see it there. And I don't know where it is. Oh, let's see. Is there another gray one down the bottom of it?
Well, I can't find it right now. But it was really interesting. One of these gray sprues, it was broken here. But it must have been broken in the mold because you see where the plastic joined it together. And and you can see, as old as this mold is, there's, there's a lot of flash in a lot of areas. You see it sticking out here, over here. See? So... I know the background's not so good. Um, there's just flash everywhere. And I'm trying to clean it up so it runs smoothly. Uh, that way I don't have to put a lot of oil on it. So that's the update I got. I just came down this morning. Got my cup of joe that I got to pick up with my right hand because I can't, can't even freaking pick it up with my left hand. I'm such a wuss. So got my cup of joe. And I'm going to sit down here for about an hour or so until I... Can't take the pain in my hand and wrist in my left side. And uh, that's it. I'll be uh, advising you what's going on in a further update later on. Chris Cortell, brother, you're in our prayers. We hope things are going well. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, and Dirk, remember, Raider Nation, baby. So this is how lame I am, guys, if uh, you don't know. I uh, ripped a tendon from the elbow down to the hand, um, awkwardly picking up a package from be behind me in my mail truck. And uh, because of that, I can hardly make a fist because there's some damage in here and where it attaches to the, the elbow, the bone, or the head, they call it. And I got pain if I just tap it right here, you know, so... Um, when they tested my hand strength, I can go like on their machine a hundred in this hand, and I was only like five on this one. So because of that, I'm such a wuss that I can't grasp this long enough to sand. So I got to set it in here so it can hold it while I sand the end off. I know, I know. I'm a wussy Raider fan, right, Dirk and Brian? Okay. Well, that's why it's taking me so long to build this. Otherwise, I would have had it done probably in a day or two, um, even with the cleanup. So, bear with me. I'll try to get it done. And now the weather's getting nice. Hopefully, I'll start painting some of the ones I put together uh, during the winter and get those finished up and start showing you what I've done there. All right? Talk to you guys later.